you know, to an actor, to be able to, to have the opportunity to play Churchill, it's like, it's like being asked to play Falstaff or King Lear. We got through the makeup with patience and humour, and once it was all on, I was like greyhounds straining in the slips. I couldn't wait to get to the set. I loved him. <laughs> I really, I really enjoyed him. Winston lacks judgment. He's a bully. We may have to replace him. All our forces are in Dunkirk. The Germans are pushing us into the sea. You have the full weight of the world on your shoulders. Are you not afraid? Most terribly. You ask, what is our policy? I say it is to wage war by sea, land and air with all our might. We shall never surrender! You know, the elephant in the room is... I don't look anything like Winston Churchill. How are we going to do it? I didn't really want to... I didn't want to mess with my health. You know, I'm, I'm nearly 60. I'm not going to put on 50, 60 pounds to, to play this guy. Um, so we knew it was makeup. I knew Kazuhiro's work. I said to Joe, OK, there's only one man on the planet that could even remotely pull this off. It can't look like a man in a rubber face. Joe took out his notebook and his pencil, and he said, how do you spell Kazuhiru? You've wanted this your entire adult mm, life. No, since the nursery. Do the, the public want it's me? It's your own party to whom you'll have to prove yourself. No, I'm getting the job only because the ship is sinking. It, it, it's not a gift, it's revenge. Let them see your true qualities, your courage. My poor judgment. Your lack of vanity. Yeah, my iron will. Your sense of humour. Ho, ho, ho. Now go. Go. Be. Be what? Be yourself. Taking on Hitler. I, it doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on, he took on a monster. He knew in his gut that he couldn't do a peace deal um, and that he couldn't trust him. I don't know if it's a man so much in doubt as I'm going against every instinct. If they want me to go against my instinct, my instinct is once we do this, it's over. He left the war cabinet at five o'clock. He then went and spoke to the outer cabinet and he did, I believe, say, we, we, we will drown in our own blood before we give in. And he came back to the war cabinet at seven o'clock. There's no negotiated peace. There's nothing heroic in going down fighting if it can be avoided. Nothing even remotely patriotic in death or glory if the odds are firmly on the former. Nothing inglorious in trying to shorten a war that we are clearly losing. Losing! Europe is still... Europe is lost. And before our forces are wiped out completely, now is the time to negotiate in order to obtain the best conditions possible. Hitler will not insist on outrageous terms. He will know his own weaknesses. He will be reasonable. When will the lesson be learned? When will the lesson be learned? How many more dictators must be wooed, appeased, good God, given him mixed privileges, before we learn? You cannot reason with a tiger when your head is in its mouth!